Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and you can tell from that little line of paint that I have just put paint along the edges of my 12 by 24 inch pre-primed dry black canvas, and I have a whole bunch of colors ready to go. Straighten out my camera a little bit. And I have a scrape dish, but I'm going to use it as a shovel, I think. I hope, anyway. So, I'm going to make up a dish of colors. And I'm going to start with my white Anita's because it's inexpensive and it's metallic and it adds some bulk to everything else. And then I'm going to add the colors that I love, which are the turquoise. I don't know what your turquoise brand is, but mine used to be Hobby Lobby's Master's Touch and they changed it so that now I have to mix my own. Anyway, so I'm going to try and add my favorite colors, including this Venetian blue, which is plugged, darn into a pan of colors and then add them across right after I completely coat the surface with a layer of black mead and paint. I might want to leave that open. I have some Arteza electric blue that I've thinned down quite a bit now because I wanted to make it last and I'm looking forward to getting some more of that. I have some folk art neon purple. I've added a lot of Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine too. And I love this color. I just love this color. I don't know how this is going to work because I have not done exactly this before. I want to put in um, an all over the place design. Here's my Decor Americana 24 karat gold. And then I'm going to swipe through it. I might tip it first before I swipe through it. Here's my um, Prism Pour Hot Orchid, which is not mixed the way they recommend. It's mixed with my pouring medium because the color is just stunning even without the metallics. I'm not going to tell you that the metallics aren't stunning too because they're awesome. They're completely fantastic. But you need to only use a little bit of water and I want it to go a little further than that as far as the color goes. And it's heavier than I want it to be. That is some Modern Masters. Look for the coppery stuff. It's it's like Sunset or something. Um, I'm not sure about that one, honestly. So I've used almost everything I've got here except for I've got some Artist Loft that was metallic purple. I think it was called Amethyst. And I'm going to throw a little bit of meat and white in there. because it makes cells. And I'd like to put the black in for the same reason, but the black will maybe be a dip. I'm going to put a little bit more of this favorite, my new, recent, my new favorite electric blue, which is a pearlescent. Oh, I forgot, or maybe I didn't. This is very similar to the neon purple, but it's a color, it's called Purple Flash. It's also folk art and it's color shifting. I want something dark in there, and if the, no, that's not coming, oh, let me see if I've got some, uh, oh, the pressure blue is work, gonna work, let's do that, I need some drama, okay, so onwards, and I'm going to use the paint I just mixed up in my bottle, and put everything where I can find it, hopefully. This is an OXO, that's the little one. This is the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula that's on my Amazon link. And the Amazon link is on the link tree and the link tree is right under the video. On the link tree you're going to find my website, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more for those of you who might want to shop. MyPixels.com and Fine Art America also on the link tree. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has some of the edited artworks from the YouTube videos. If you are ever interested in making a purchase, my email address is the best way to contact me and it is directly under the link tree when you click show more. It's E-A-S-P-B and the word gallery, G-A-L-L-E-R-Y at gmail.com. Spelled out. 
I also have over 1,800 videos, and I'm working on 1,900 on the, on the 1,900 list. And those lists are each have 100 on them, and then there are divisions of topics and genres also. And if you ever need a link for anything, just ask me. I'm going to wipe that off on my Lolafi silicone mat and throw it in the bucket, because that meeting is... <laughs> is a bit of a chore. You know what I didn't add in there? I didn't add any orange. And I thought I could avoid it, but I think I'm going to just do it anyway. Even if I just add dribbles. Because look at how that pops everything. I have not tried to scoop up a copious amount of paint in this dish, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to the shovel. Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm going to stop right there and grab some more. Kind of works. I might not want to do anything to it though. Let it come out slowly. I've got a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula here if I can reach it without dumping my paint over. So that'll help that paint go right over the edge. And I've got enough paint left in there, so I should rest something on top of it so I can use it again in a minute, because I don't think I'm going to need it right now. But I am going to use the rest of this right over here. And if I tip it, I might as well tip it down toward this end where it's not flowing over the edge. So that's pretty cool, huh? I like it. You could leave it right like that. It's all about the colors for me. It really, really, really is. So let's just let that go right over and let everything flow up and down. And as much as I like this, I have those colors left and I want to at least follow through with my plan. Let me move some bottles out of the way for a moment. And hopefully that will mean that I can juggle this 12 by 24 inch canvas and not have a problem. I see that there's enough gold in there. Kind of wish I'd put some silver in. And I've got swipe cards. I've got all kinds of swipe cards, but I'm thinking about using some black meaden or white. Let's start with the black. Let's use very little and see what happens. And I'm going to grab my favorite swipe card, which is schmutz. Oh, wrong side. Got to be curve, curve up so that the, so it hits well. So let's just do this. Huh? <laughs> I should have torched that. You know what? I'm gonna torch that, just for right now, to see what we release from patterns, and get the bubbles out. And maybe I'll take all of it, and maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just. Now, that sort of eradicates way too many cool things for me. But I do have enough paint. And now I have some really cool cells. I'm going to just take the edge of this. Take a little bit more. Right out, right out of that center spot. I have other little swipe cards. You know what I've got? I've got that thing I covered with cling wrap. And I kind of want to play with that and see what happens. So I just put cling wrap on the outside of a foamy, foamy brush. Oh, that drags way too, too far down. And it looked like I was dragging something. Sorry, some kind of dog hair, go, go figure. I'm gonna put as little as possible in this. That's getting interesting. Move my torch out of the way so it's not a problem. 
kind of want to tip in between again because I'm loving some of the things I'm seeing. But I'd really like some of that to go right along where... <clears throat> yeah, I'm liking that. I could stop now, actually. The little foam brush does scrape down to paint. If I don't put the black on, I'm probably better off if I want to drag paint. No, I'm just tipping and having a good time and I'm wondering if I have smaller cards and I do, I have a smaller card. So I'm going to pick the clean end of that and put as little meat and paint on as possible. I kind of like it enough so I don't want to mess too much of it up. But I also want this kind of flowing organic shape. And I have some of that. I love sticking my card in and dragging things. Tendrils and the like. creating patterns, which seems like a good idea over here too. Neat. Pretty neat. I like it. It's not really anything I expected, but I wasn't really expecting anything anyway. I just, as I go along, I expect to be gifted with some kind of inspiration by what I see. And I can always add paint from the, from the bottles. I don't see much of that orange, but I like the little bit of it that I do see. You know what, I like this over here enough. I want to snag a little bit more. I think the, the trick to it is to make sure you see a little tiny bit of paint sort of mount up onto the card. And then in this case, I'm hoping to get rid of it off the other side. You could probably also use a spatula or a skewer. And I kind of want to prove that. Actually, thinking a straw just came to my hand. Which didn't really do it for me. It's important if you don't want to scrape up the painting, the base color on the painting, you better just have the most delicate touch possible. I'm wanting some dots. I think that's just the way this is going to have to go. Yep, that's what I wanted. Just steal some paint from what's right there. And I think I'm just about done. I know, you've heard it before. Maybe it's some kind of space dragon. <laughs> that would make quite the fantastical creature, I have to say. Maybe we'll give him some... some quills or spines or... I have some paint dried on the end of that skewer, which makes it kind of less than clean when I drag a piece of paint, drag a little bit of paint up, but there we go. Now we have a critter. He might be farting though. <laughs> Leave it to me. He's got two legs and stuff. 
<laughs> this is pretty weird. Pretty weird of me to think of that, actually. But never mind. He's not gonna win any beauty contests. Maybe it's a she. I'm interested in going ahead and grabbing. I mean, all I have to do is put an eye in. And I actually have an eye right there. So if I grab a little bit of paint, now I have an eye. It's obviously breathing off the side. Let's give it a little spiral. And maybe a smile, huh? I want an ear. There, now we have an ear. I didn't really expect this to be a dragon, though. But why not, you know? These are some kind of really funky wings back here, I think. <laughs> And who knows what's going on here at the back. Maybe there's two of them and they're doing a dance. I don't know. But uh, I don't want to do much of anything else to this. It's freaky and weird and I'm going to show you what I see. And as long as it's got some balance, it doesn't have to be a dragon either. It can be something else that's cool. Now I can't see anything else though. I want to do something with this right here. Just a few waggles that look like scales. <laughs> well, I guess I'm done. I'm going to have to do that again and see if I can actually do the swipe I intended on doing. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught the paint. I'm going to tell you guys I love you again. And if you shop my Amazon link, it's at no way to cost you and it helps me out. My two books are there because I can and unlimited possibilities. As well as the OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. And all kinds of other cool tools, paints, canvases, cameras, you name it, it's there. If you give me a thumbs up, it's really appreciated. If you watch the videos longer, it's also very appreciated. When you watch when the notifications come out, it's awesomely appreciated. And uh, I appreciate you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. Let's see if we can zoom zoom in here. We have some pretty cool, pretty cool cells. This is going to look a lot better dry. It's going to really make the colors pop. That does look like a belly, sort of. It's, it's a strange critter, for sure. So what should I tell you guys? Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are on my link tree along with my website. And I mentioned that my Facebook groups are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. Don't forget that. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for shoppingpixels.com and Fine Art America, whose links are also... Anyway, what I need to tell you guys is if you would like to help support the studio and you can do it, I take donations at PayPal and Patreon, and when you do that, I include you automatically in the monthly drawing, and you can see what the what the prizes are or the offerings are for whoever the name is drawn, the winner at the end of any month, and the exhibition video on the end screens of every video has a new exhibition video and shows you the prizes. So, Twitter, excuse me, <laughs> Teespring clothing below the video has my Oliver Print leggings and Oliver Print t-shirts. And if you guys ever want to see something made into an article of clothing or any of the offerings at Pixels.com, Fire Note America, or Teespring, all you have to do is ask me, and I will try and share that with you. My community board has tomorrow's video. So does Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I love you guys. I can't tell you that enough, and you inspire me so well. My paint pouring recipe is below the video. 
If you have questions for me, please ask me. The community board, like I said, has tomorrow's video and there are, as I want to refresh your memory, 